So here's a simple break-even analysis problem to um, show how to do that. We're looking at Max Denton is starting a cafe in his neighborhood. He rents a large showroom for $1,500 per month. So I'm going to go ahead and um, start an area for my fixed cost and we'll put those right there. So I see that I've got expenses, fence, fixed cost, showrooms are um, fifteen hundred okay and I have that formatted as dollars if you need to format it just go to home and there's your format for the different areas um, the next thing I do is I want to be sure and include the number of units that um, are there so the fifteen hundred is a per month number um, so off to an okay start he rents a coffee machine for two hundred dollars a month okay it's two hundred dollars uh, once again, that's per month, so I can just click there, and that is for a coffee machine. So I'm going to go ahead and put the coffee machine there, um, and then and furniture for three hundred dollars per month. So let's go ahead there, and let's put the furniture in the three hundred dollars, and once again, that's per month and my capitalization should be consistent. It doesn't matter really to me if you capitalize or don't capitalize, but you do need to be consistent. Um, let's see. So that looks like most of our fixed costs, but we'll make sure as we go through here. It cost him two dollars to make a cup of coffee and he sells a cup of coffee for five. So the two dollars is um, going to be our variable expenses. So We'll put that there. And um, that's for the coffee ingredients and labor, so variable cost is $2. That is per cup, so we have that in there. Um, next thing we're going to do is our, um, let's see, what is the minimum number of cups of coffee Max uh, would have to sell in a month to break even? So what we're going to look at here then is, um, we said he gets five dollars per cup for every cup that he sells so let's go ahead and add that information in there so there's the five dollars per cup that he gets in revenue um, how many units does he need to sell um, units are measured in cups okay and um, the time period on that is going to be cups per month since we have monthly time period um, it's going to be easier just to solve it for cups per month instead of trying to break it down into days or something odd like that um, how many cups of coffee would max need to sell to make a nineteen thousand dollar profit so let's look at our profit there okay and um, so that's what we have so far in our problem so let's go ahead and try to work this out now once again where profit equals zero dollars um, is what we want to solve for here so um, first thing is though fixed cost expenses okay and what I'm going to do here to make this easier to read is I'm going to name each one of these cells. Um, the good thing about naming the cells is that uh, that makes it where that it's um, easier to read my formula later to see uh, what's up. So anyway, um, so up here for the um, naming, we'll do um, showroom coffee machine, furniture, um, coffee ingredients and labor. I'm just going to name that coffee. Okay. And then coffee sales, I'll name coffee sales. Um, unit sold, I named unit sold. And profit, we will name um, profit. Okay. And once again, what that does is that that makes this into um, absolute uh, cell references. So if I copy it, those values stay there, and it will make the math a little bit easier to see. 
Uh, for my sum, you could easily just go through and do a regular sum formula like that, and that would work fine. Um, I'm going to do a little bit different thing just so we can see what we're doing here. And as I'm going to put um, that. And the other way works just as well, but what this does is it lets me see what values I'm summing, and this is just for more your benefit than anything at this point in time. We only have one variable cost, so that's fine, and we only have one source of revenue. Um, so I said it's greatly simplified, but that's what we're going to do um, for now. So from this point, we see that we have everything filled out. Uh, now we, what we want to do is to put in a formula for profitability where we can um, then solve for the units sold. So my formula for my profitability is going to be uh, units sold. Okay, so I have the units sold here times the um, coffee sales. So that's my revenue that I make for each cup of coffee I sell. Um, and then I'm going to subtract from that units sold times the coffee expense that I have up here, so my variable expense, um, and then minus my fixed cost. So that'll tell me how much my profitability is, um, and that could even end up being a loss. We see right now that I'm losing um, 2000 bucks based off of selling zero cups a month. So I'm um, just doing trial and error. I can go through and I can see that, nope, 200 is not nearly enough. That got me about 600 um, units there. So uh, another 600 would be, okay, so let's do times 2 would be 600. I'm getting closer, 630 almost there 660 hey just about there so I need to do about four more cups it looks like to get to 20 bucks at 664 and that puts me at 8663 oh sorry I am making a profit on the um, amount uh, the best way to do this is the amount that you have to get to that or more so um, that is the amount that I need right there. So um, 667 is my answer for the amount that is needed for um, for the um, break-even point. So I'm going to go ahead right here and then I make this bigger so that everything will fit. I'm just holding down on the left mouse button as I drag down and okay so that's pretty good there. So I have Max Denton would need um, 667 cups of coffee to break even. Now the next question is how much does he need to sell um, to make a profit of $19,000? So we could go through here and we could um, just keep increasing until we get 19,000. I got a pretty good guess it's going to be at 7,000, but if we were to start at 6,500, then we see we're not quite there yet. 7,500, oh, we're over it a little bit. And then 7,000, and there we are at the 19,000. So very clearly I state Max Denton would need to sell 667 cups of coffee to break even. He would need to sell 7,000 cups of coffee to make a profit of $19,000. Um, I go up here to make sure that I've answered all the questions. What's the minimum number of cups of coffee Max would have to sell a month to break even? Um, and the question was in per month, so he would need to sell 667 cups of coffee per month to break even. Um, the next thing was how much would he need, or um, let's see, how many cups of coffee would Max need to sell to make a $19,000 um, profit? So um, from there, let's go to here. If I'd hold down Alt and do the Enter, it will do a, a line break for me. So, so it is, uh, he would need to sell 17,000 cups of coffee um, to make a profit of $19,000 uh, in a month.
Okay, uh, I could put 7,000 cups of coffee per month, but that's getting rather redundant and does not read as pleasantly, so I'm going to stick with that answer. Uh, you see that my numbers don't show right now, so if I go here, um, then everything fits. Looks good. That is the way how to work this, doing simple trial and error. Now, surely there's got to be a better way than just simple trial and error to do this. Uh, what would be an alternative way that I could um, go through to, to solve this? Uh, well, what I can do is in Excel we have something called Solver. So um, with Solver, it's found in the data area, and you can see it here. If it doesn't appear on yours, um, you need to set Solver up and um, just go to the file area here, um, go to Options, and add-ins and then you can see uh, the solver add-ins there and then OK and add it in. I already have it but that's where you go to add solver in. Uh, if you're in the lab I don't know if it'll let you add it or not. Hopefully it's already installed there. But um, So once you have solver here you can click on solver and what is our objective? Well for break-even analysis we want our um, objective to be our profit. What do we want our profit to equal? It wants to equal zero. Okay. What variable cells do we want to change in order to get to there? Um, well, we're wanting to know how many cups of coffee that uh, we're going to sell in order to get to that. Um, if we want to do calculations looking at changing the dollars per coffee for a certain number of sales, things on those lines we could as well. Um, but we just want to go through and, and check it out for here. Since we're equaling zero, we should come to a uh, pretty good answer as it is. But a lot of times what you want to do um, is for things like the variable that you're changing. If you're looking for like profit maximization, you can get some weird things happen with Solver. If you don't specify that the variables you're changing um, should stay um, greater than zero. So just out of trying to, to show a good habit to be in here, we want that to be greater than or equal to zero. Once again, it would not matter in this particular instance. Um, but so we have our constraint that we unit solds have to have to be zero or more. And then we want to go ahead and solve for this problem. Um, and you see that we have seven thousand there, which was to make the nineteen thousand dollar profit. I'm going to go ahead and uh, keep the solver solution. Uh, sensitivity reports are good. That lets you know just how volatile your answer is. We'll do that at a later time, though. So for now, let's just go ahead and look at the break even. And you see there's the 667 that we had talked about earlier. You can also see it's actually a little bit below that, but that's okay. We're going to go ahead and round up because we're not going to sell someone um, two-thirds of a cup of coffee. So that would solve for zero um, for the monthly profit. If I go back into Solver, uh, if I want to set the profitability to a value of um, 19,000, then I can do that, and then I can solve. And you see that that now puts the cup of coffee per month. Uh, the reason I wanted you to have the formulas written the way that we have it written where that things change and this all does go by formula is that um, if the showroom per month, if the rent goes up, then how much does that change? We see that it cut our revenue by 300 bucks. that's good. Um, okay, so that's how you use Solver. Uh, that's why we use the formulas the way we use them. Any questions, be sure and let me know. Uh, have a great day.